Good morning. The finance minister thinks that the pessimism is overdone. According to him, all is well with the Indian economy. There is no policy paralysis and reforms have not been put on a back burner. But inflation is unlikely to cool to the acceptable levels before March and GDP growth has been scaled down a little. We expect the market to be sluggish at start due to indices of global queues. U.S. stocks softened due to persistent anxiety over the ongoing debate over budget talks. But their European counterparts advanced. Asian indices are clueless. A move below 5,550 on Nifty could see further selling and index might ahead towards 5,440. Overall trading range remains between 5,500 to 5,800. Meanwhile, reports suggest that Department of Telecommunication could take a call on fresh allocation of 2G spectrum on Friday. Separately, the Department of Telecommunication may also auction airways for wireless broadband. The Delhi High Court would today start hearing on framing of charges in the 2G scam. A fund manager survey by Bank of America Merrill Lynch reveals that while India's allocation among emerging markets has increased relatively, global investors continue to be underweight on Indian market. It goes on to add that the global investors are cautious on risky assets even as they increase allocation to the emerging market equities. FIS were net sellers of Rs 904.4 million in the cash segment on Wednesday according to the provisional NSC data. The domestic institutional institutions were net buyers of Rs 204.8 million on the same day. FIS were net sellers of Rs 2.57 million in the FNO segment. The foreign funds were net buyers of Rs 4.17 billion in the cash segment on Tuesday, according to the SEBI website. Results to be announced today are 3i Infotech, APL Apollo, Biocon, Concor, Coromandel International, DB Corporation, NL, Hero Honda, Hindustan Zinc, India Bulls Power, Info Edge, JSW Energy, Kirloskar Oil, Kotak Mahindra Bank, KPIT Cummins, Mahindra Life Spaces, Noida Toll, Relis India, Sisa Goa, Yes Bank, Z Entertainment, and Zensar Technologies. Moving on to recommendations, our technical calls for the day are we recommend traders to buy Raymond above Rs. 401, with the stop loss placed at Rs. 396 and for the target price of Rs. 412. We advise buying Hindustan Unilever in the range of Rs. 326 to Rs. 327 for a stop loss of Rs. 322 and target price of Rs. 337. Our derivative strategy for the day are short Areva TND July futures in the range of Rs. 250 to 251 for a target price of Rs. 241 and a stop loss placed at Rs. 255. Long Indian Hotel July futures in the range of Rs. 76.5 to Rs. 77 with a stop loss placed at Rs. 75.5 and for the target price of Rs. 79.5. Thank you. Wish you have a great day ahead.